Our next bout of the evening, scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's welterweight division. Here comes Amisha! There's that really explosive power. Oh, he's eating a couple punches there and is covering up. Here comes Amisha. A barrage of strikes from the newcomer, going for the finish. Amisha, the number one ranked welterweight in all of glory. He's just 25 years old, six foot one, but will have a slight reach advantage over a fighter who's three and a half inches taller than him in Samuel DeBilly. Both men weighing in at 76.8 kilos. Professional experience, huge edge for the 25-year-old Hamisha. And the big narrative of this story is, you know, 71% KO ratio, but the Billy's dangerous, he's got an awkward style, and you can see even of his 14 fights, half of them came by way of knockout. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we are scheduled for three three-minute rounds in Glory's welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He made his debut in front of a partisan crowd in Lyon. His professional record, 10 wins with four losses, five of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet four and one half inches, 1.94 meters, he weighed in at an even 169 pounds, 76.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of France, ladies and gentlemen, here is Samuel Dembele. His opponent fighting out of the white corner is undefeated in glory. All three fights ending in the first round. His professional record, 41 wins with just two losses. 29 of those wins coming by way of knockout. He stands six feet, one inch tall, 1.87 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at 169 pounds, 76.6 kilos. Fighting out of Morocco, he is the number one contender in the division. He is Hamisha. And your referee in charge of this bout, Edward Stryker. Okay, guys, listen, fighting three rounds, you have three minutes. Yeah, you know the rules, any questions? No questions? Yeah, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves if you want, back to your corner. Hamisha looks all business, and Joe, business is good right now for this 25-year-old. No matter what, if you fight a tall Touch. fighter like DeBilly, Touch. it's always dangerous. Touch. Half of DeBilly's wins have come by way of knockout. Let's see if he can hang with this young Moroccan superstar. And yeah, the main thing Hamisha needs to watch out for is the Billy's knees. Where the Billy needs to stay off the ropes. Watch Hamisha look to attack the body. Just check that kick. Yep, there he goes, trying to get his head off center line to get that body. Oh, big body shot with the left hand from Hamisha. Bottom of the right coming in. DeBilly just can't get his kicks or punches off. The way Hamisha mixes up his strikes, low kicks, body kicks, left side, right side, up, down. You never know where he's attacking. That's how he sets up his finishes. DeBilly going kick for kick now. Oh, body shot, sneaky, there he goes. Upstairs, downstairs. I expect some head kicks coming soon. It's a long way to get your foot up. Straight jab. They'll say that was a slip. 
Wasn't a damaging blow, but to Billy right now had a, has a hurt body turning in his head. Look at that Hamisha power. The Brilliant. body's done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No one has made it out of the first Quick. round in glory against Hamisha, and DeBilly doesn't appear to be headed to their second round either. You can already see the redness on DeBilly's stomach. Right. And an overhand right sends the Frenchman down for a second time. Two. Too creative Eight. with the level changes. Four. You have no idea where Five. he's going to attack. Six. So Billy's got to get some offense off. Whoa! Remember, three knockdowns in a round, the fight's over. There are those the Billy knees. He just hasn't had a chance to throw them because of that crazy power from Hamisha. There's one from the Billy trying to get something, anything going. Moroccan fans here a big salute. Another first round finish for the one name wonder. Joey makes it look so easy too. Yeah, it's once he has you against the ropes, he uplets those combinations that you have no idea what's happening. Is it body, head, kick, low kick? It's just fantastic to watch. Real good kickboxing. Let's look at our highlights, and as is always the case with the beach shot, they're only from one round. Yeah, comes forward, landed that nice straight jab. What he's trying to do is he's trying to walk you back to against the ropes. When you're against the ropes, he unloads with kicks, punches, body shots, but the big thing about Hamish is the way he attacks the body. Upstairs, downstairs, it's that left hook to deliver that I have to say is one of his best shots. Then the way he set it up where he attacked the body, then came overhand. Everything is just so sharp and technical from him. You know, he's easily becoming one of the most technical kickboxers. The way he throws with good technique, good power, doesn't get hit much, good defensively. We think we got a star in our hands. Well, Joe, the one knock will be, yeah, he's blowing these guys out. Yeah but he has his face an elite fighter in his division yet. Yeah, I, I agree, but I mean, what impresses me is the ability to finish, and that's what true martial arts is. If you're going in and you're only winning decisions, that's not real fun in kickboxing. You can see the stats, strike by zone. It's all about Hamisha and that body shot. The way he set them up beautifully, punches to the head, ripped that body, and just beautiful performance by Hamisha. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. Our referee, Edward Stryker, has waved off this contest with an official time of 2 minutes, 27 seconds of that very first round by way of the glory maximum knockdown rule, declaring your winner by technical knockout, Amisha! And we are here with Hamisha. Congratulations on your victory. You've got quite a vocal, passionate fan base here in Arnhem. What do you want to say to them right now? Thanks a lot for everybody who support me. I want, uh, I want to take a very, very special person, the, His Majesty, the King of Morocco, Leibarkfa Marcidi. What is fuck Hamisha? What? Static and dread. Static, static. Well, Hamisha, once again, you've made it look easy. Let's go to the highlights. Talk us through what you were able to do. Your body work was very impressive here tonight. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he's very tall. So it's uh, hard for him to block both head and body. 
and my corner screamed to me, hey, buddy. So uh, you see what happened. And one final look, this was the last shot that did it. You get him to the body, and I think it's a straight right hand to the jaw as well. Right there. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, the legend Badr Ari, he always uh, joined me. Shukram Zaf. Allah Hafdak. He helped me a lot for this uh, preparation. And I want to say special thanks to him. Who's? Well, Hamisha, not only have you won all of your glory fights, no one has made it out of the first round with you. You're the number one ranked fighter in your division. What do you want to do next? I think uh, I deserve the title. So I want to be champion. Well, good luck to you. Congratulations again on an epic performance. One more time, everybody, for Hamisha!